On 18 June, BAE Systems conducted a successful first flight test of its 5-inch multi-service standard guided projectile at White Sands Missile Range, New Mexico. Fired from a Mark 45 Mod 4 naval gun tube mounted on an M110 chassis, the naval variant of BAE Systems MS-SGP flew approximately 36 kilometers, executed a left-hand turn, and landed within 1.5 meters of its intended target. The June demonstration was funded in part by the U.S. Army. Based on the success of the June test, the Army is going to conduct a long-range demonstration of MS-SGP in late 2014 or early 2015, according to BAE Systems. BAE Systems has done more than 100 tests of the MS-SGP subcomponents. The 18 June test was also the first of an all-up round with the guidance, navigation, and control components attached to the end of it. The company has also done hot, cold, and ambient testing of the rocket motor. BAE Systems and the Army are developing some bows for the projectile in order for it to be fired from an M777 howitzer. Testing of the Sabos should begin in the August or September time frame. MS-SGP also has 7 inches of open space up front to house a small camera or an electro-optical infrared seeker. However, any component BAE Systems would add is limited to a maximum weight of approximately 1 pound. As for the warhead, BAE Systems will wait for the Army or Navy's requirements to come out before settling on a warhead. BAE Systems' successful test of its 5-inch projectile comes five years after the U.S. Navy canceled the Extended Range Guided Munition Program, or ERGAM. That effort, led by Raytheon, attempted to develop a projectile that could fly in excess of 50 nautical miles to support naval surface fire support.